In this video, we're going to talk about Gabriel thalamide synthesis. In this reaction, we convert a molecule of phthalic acid into an amine. Let's divide this video into two parts. Part 1 includes synthesis of thalamide and other part is about conversion of thalamide into an amine. Let's do this. Let's start with the part 1 of the reaction. Let's take a molecule of phthalic acid. And heat it. It's going to undergo dehydration reaction. And form an anhydride. Let's react the anhydride form with a molecule of ammonia as a nitrogen of ammonia has got lone pair this is going to act as a good nucleophile and attacks this electrophilic center pushing the pi electrons towards oxygen Now, the oxygen with negative charge is going to reform the pi bond expelling this carbon-oxygen bond. This forms ammonium salt, NH3 plus and O minus. This group consists of ammonium salt. So, when this compound is heated, it's going to form a thalamide sorry, three and water. This reaction is a dehydration reaction. The anhydride formed here can also be converted into thalamide using urea. As a urea has got a nitrogen with lone pair. It's going to act as a good nucleophile and attacks this electrophilic center pushing the pi electrons towards oxygen as a carbon cannot be pentavalent. Now here, as a nitrogen acquired 4 bonds, it, it will acquire a positive charge. The oxygen with negative charge is going to reform the pi bond and breaks this carbon-oxygen bond. Now, this step is possible because the anion formed is pretty stable due to resonance. Now the oxygen with negative charge is going to act as good nucleophile and it acts this electrophilic center leading to breakage of carbon and nitrogen bond. Now this molecule has got a lone pair and this will attack this electrophilic center expelling OCONH2 group. And now this nitrogen has got four bonds so this acquires a positive charge and acts as a pretty good acid. And the expelled group has got the oxygen with negative charge which acts as a base and extracts this proton from NH2. And this forms thalamide. And CONH3 plus group. Here, the oxygen with negative charge forms a pi bond expelling this NH3 group and it forms CO2 and NH3. Now, let's look at the second part of the reaction. In this reaction, we'll use the thalamide form to convert it into amine. As the nitrogen here is slightly acidic, we're going to use strong base to extract this. For example, KOH. This OH- is going to extract hydrogen and forms N-. Now, we react this thing with alkyl halide. This nitrogen with a negative charge is going to act as a nucleophile and this reaction is SN2. 
is going to form an alkyl thalamide. Now, the alkyl thiamide formed here can be converted into amine in three ways. Let's look at the first one. Reaction of alkyl thiamide with hydrazine. As there is a lone pair on the nitrogen atom, this is going to act as a good nucleophile and it acts as electrophilic center, breaking this pi bond. Now, the nitrogen here acquires a positive charge as it has four bonds. Now, now this negative charge reforms the bond breaking this bond. Now, this negative charge about nitrogen is going to extract proton from here and forms Now, this molecule is devoid of all charges Here, this nitrogen molecule Due to high uh, decent nucleophilicity, this is gonna attack this carbon atom. Now, now, this hydrogen here has a positive, uh, this proton Now, this proton here on nitrogen is pretty acidic and now here now the proton transfer takes place usually proton transfers are usually taken or done by the medium for example it can be water alcohol anything for example let's take water this water molecule is gonna extract proton from here and become h3o plus and this is gonna deliver it here to this thing and this forms H2R plus. Now this negative charge is going to reform the bond and expel this um, RNH2 group. This forms
plus R in H2. There you go. Amine. And this compound is called thalamide hydrazide. Okay. Now we prepared amine from thalamide from NH2 and NH2. That is hydrazine. This can also be done by hydrolysis of thalamide by acid and base catalyzed mediums. For that reaction, check my other video on hydrolysis of amides.